so here's the colors I'm actually working with. I've um, got Juchi Violet, Fuegar Orange, Coily Green Shade, Agrath, Beel Tan, and Ricklin Flesh Shade uh, Gloss. I will, of course, be new, doing Nolan Oil. And um, I'm going to be mixing this up and show you guys how I do it. Alright guys, so um, as you can see here, I did prime the Poxwalker White. I will go through and just start using some of the shades here to start getting some of the skin tone. And as I start, you can either do it all Reckon Flesh Shade or you can mix it up and I'm going to add some Beel Tan to it. Try to do a little bit lighter green here on the top portion. Just to give it a little bit of that uh, highlight without highlighting it. It's probably a technical term for that. And then uh, going back to the Recklin uh, gloss. As you can see, I'm not being too careful. There's going to be a lot of these on the table. I do have 50 of these to paint, um, which isn't a lot for how many zombies I already have painted. Uh, I used to run all the cultists and uh, guardsmen and stuff are all converted to be zombies, and I have over 200. Um, so now I'll be adding 50 of these pox walkers to them. So, um... Like I said, don't have to be too perfect. I got the high, lighter green there. I'm just going to add some green here to start mudding up just a little bit. Need a little more flesh shade to darken it down. And then I'm going to go back over this and actually uh, wash it with a uh, Nolan oil. So, as you can see, I hope you guys see alright. Let me move the light here. But as you can see, it gets it a bit of a um, gradient from the light. And then it starts just working way down. This is just done with washes. Uh, on the same guy, matter of fact, I'm going to use some of this Fuegan Orange. Oh, uh, Fugan? Fugan. Probably Fugan. Um, and then I'm just going to do this here. On his for his weapon. And anything that might look metal, I'm just going to wash that. Um, a little respirator there, buckle. So the purpose of that, I miss, missed his thigh there. Um, I didn't rinse my brush. Uh, the purpose of this is to get that base um, orange tone so I can get that rusted steel look. Uh, I can go back over it. I'm probably just gonna go over it with some of that, um, some typhus corrosion. And that'll look pretty good. So that same guy, maybe I add a little flavor to it. Again, not washing my brush. Um, let's say I want to make his actual loincloth purple here. Like that. So, the good thing about the washes is when they mix a bit, they start creating, you know, once you got the purple as a primary, um, they'll start mixing the other washes you had, and it just kind of looks like they're stained dirty. Uh, Pretty purple. So we're just gonna do purple on our whole claw and his loin claw. And we'll just hit up his bag with a little bit of that purple. Alright. So then you start getting a few colors there. This is all done with the washers, like I said. Let's soak some of that up. Just dry off your brush and use your brush again. You'll get most of that really dark stuff. And so that way you can start having some gradient going on. Um, you know, just always go back and check. See if you miss anything. It's pretty easy to go back and just rewash it. Um, nothing special. And it gets a really good effect on the table. Um, when you got 50 of these guys on there, it's not too bad. What we'll do is boot a different color. 
and I'll just come back to it. So basically, just keep doing that, and uh, I'll come back with the guy finished. All right, guys. So I skipped ahead on a bit of the parts here. Um, what I did was I got the Troll Slayer orange, and I watered it down quite a bit um, to make the pants. I wanted this one to look like he maybe was in prison. And so I went to his pants, and then I just did a very light coat of lead belcher here. So, and as well as his um, neck chain here. So I'm just going to go over here a little bit of the orange. Just some various spots here. Like that. Because what this is going to do is just get a little bit of that russet effect. And before I go back over it uh, what's on the typhus corrosion um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I, I'm gonna wash him I'm gonna try with some Nolan oil and uh, see how it goes alright guys so why this is actually um, I just washed it with a Nolan oil and while he's drying I'll get back to this guy here um, I'll just take a brush here Dip a little bit of that typhus corrosion and just kind of brush it not so neat. As you can see some of the wash is still drying, which I kind of want because of what it's going to do is it's going to water down some of the areas. Do this here. The purpose of this is if it doesn't blend well, let's say when you when you painted that orange, let's say you just, you know, you messed up and got it on the skin and wash is always hard to you know get back once you put uh, the paint on it well what you could do is you could just do a little of this corrosion you know, go up his pant leg and then it also helps mesh where his stomach is because it's not going to be perfect and what it's going to do is just going to make it look gross which, which uh, fox walkers are going to want so you see I'm just lightly applying it here um, all to the edging again to hide your mistakes and the reason why is you know you don't the, the longest thing that should be taking is you know the dry time because you have so many of these to paint I just do a little bit on the feet too just get a little bit of that gross look so that's it. We're gonna put some on the weapon too. Just various spots. I don't know if you guys can hear the weather outside, but there is a hurricane, and I'm doing a tutorial video because we still have power. So why not? There we go. You think that was kind of metal? Put some corrosion on it. So I'm gonna let this guy dry, and I'll come back. All right. So while that guy's drying, we're gonna do the same thing with this guy. Again, just get some of that typhus corrosion. You gotta be really careful with this stuff. Um, you don't want it to go up the tip of your brush because it will fray and pretty much destroy your brush. Um, so I'm gonna just again go over the metal bits here and do the pant leg. Get a little bit on his feet. Because it's going to give it that grimy look. And again, covering any of those mistakes. Like here on the back, looks like there's some orange that got on there. Which little typhus corrosion will fix. And as you see, it's still wet, which is good. Because once it dries, it'll give a good effect. It's going to run down that corrosion a bit too. So I'll come back. Alright guys, so again, we're going to go back to this guy now. While he is again still drying, you notice his arms are a little bit more tentacles. So what I want to do is put some of that Druchy Violet pretty strong here. You can see on his little tentacle arm. So what it's going to do is going to break up some of those colors. And it's just little tentacles here, make that purple as well. So the rest of it kind of looks like branches, so we don't want to do that. So we'll just do the purple 
just like that. Again, this is all just done with washes. Now, I'm getting impatient just washing it uh, quickly because I'm only doing two models right now just to show you guys. I do have those 50 to do, so by the time I get to the next one, the first model that I did, I kind of line paint, so I'll just go down the line and paint away. So, now we'll come back. Right, so, we're going to use some agrath here, and on these branches, I'm going to agrath them up just a little bit to get more of that brown feeling, because right now they're pretty green from the wash. Like I said, there's no um, no need to be delicate here. We are painting in masses and with washes. Um, you know, this of course is if you're not going to be very particular and you just want to paint your guys really easy and quick. This is kind of what I do when I have mass painting to do, and it gets the effect that you want, and it looks good when you have you know 200 of them. Alright guys, so pretty much all the mass washing portion is finished for these guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of Ceramite White with a fine detail brush and I just want to hit up the eyes. There we go. Get that little milky white color. There. And we're also going to do the teeth. Um, only because we're going to go back over them with uh, there we go. we're going to go back over them with probably a agrath or um, a Nurgle's Rot really like I said you can't really go too wrong as you can see here he is still drying like the other guy but we're just going to just a little bit of white here on his eyes and his teeth. There we go. So as you can see, just brings out just a little bit. Um, again, doesn't have to be perfect. And now we can just start adding the effects. So Got some Nurgles right here. Alright. So we're just going to add some effects here. Just want to put it on some of the, the guts. Some of the spots, really, yeah, that you messed up on. Let's say that the wash didn't go completely or anything like that. You can actually just fix it with this. That's one thing about Nurgle. Is if you mess up, you have no... It's no problem to actually fix it. So you can just go back over it with something awesome. Like I don't like the blending here, so we're just going to put some Nurgle's Rod on it. And fix the blending. Alright. Like I said, the teeth are white. Just going to do a little bit. Just going to actually do his whole mouth. Why not? There we go. Got to keep his eyes white that pussy eye look. Uh, same thing, so just take this, just put it into different places, recesses, whatever you want. You mess up, don't like the color. And just a little bit, a weapon. He's gonna do his mouth too. Drip it down a little bit on his chest. Um, holes on his back, his head. For example, that port on the back of his head looks like it should be silver, but we're just going to do that. And cover these mistakes up. And finally, we're going to use the uh, nickelin oxide here. Pressure shake it. And this one is, be sure to be really light with this, like very, very light. And just maybe dab it in some of the recesses here, the steel.
There we go. And on this weapon here, we're going to do some of those buckles. I just touched some silver on. Alright. 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 So, guys, this is all done. Uh, this is as much as I'm going to pretty much do for these guys. Um, you know, you definitely meet your three color minimum, and you got some of the highlights done by the washes. Um, let me see if I move this up a little bit better so you okay, guys see it. And, um, you know, he still got dry. Like I said, was impatient because I have so many to paint. This is the other one. Just to give me two examples, one with the tentacles. His tentacles are purple there, and it gives a little bit more effect. Um, I may just rust up the weapons. Um, I do have a powdered rust that I like to use, a weathering rust um, that I can use. But that's pretty much it. So those are guys are two guys, and the total time of painting was probably about maybe five minutes. And the rest of it was really being impatient and waiting for them to dry. Um, started actually working on some plague marines over here just because I got tired of it. But <clears throat> as you can see guys fairly simple uh, I did use a bunch of different paints because I just want to get a bunch of different colors and uniqueness and um, so those two guys here on the right are finished and um, it's pretty simple so you guys take the technique again you don't have to have a steady hand as you can see my brush I used was actually a base coat brush pretty much the whole time and uh, got everything done with just pretty much one brush so hope this helps you out guys and uh, happy painting